Hello, Training Day Tubers, and welcome back to Let's Play XCOM The Long War with me, Blue Inkilo. Before we begin our deadly base assault, we have a uh, relatively, hopefully easy shot down scout, and we're using it to train up some new rookies. So we're bringing around Lord Prey with his or her ability to boost the newbie's experience growth a little bit. We've got Viking Hog, our new gunner. So we're bringing lots of low rankers, so wish me luck. We've got Bobby Perez, our new engineer. We've got Dylan Snipes, our relatively new medic. Gaming Ninja, relatively new assault. Uh, Iolos, our probably most experienced of the rookies, sniper. Still, anyone sergeant or less gets bonus XP. And then two complete rookies, Shadow Alchemists on your first run with pretty good all-round stats. Mobility's a little bit low, but other than that, pretty solid. About average aim and great HP and good willpower, to be fair. And then Michael Viller is our other rookie. Really good mobility, on the other hand, but average HP and aim and rather low willpower. So maybe you'll be an upcoming scout. Wouldn't that be great? <laughs> All right. So as usual on the downed smalls and downed mediums, I will uh, zip through the episode a little bit quicker as we hop between encounters. Just to save a little Japan bit of time, and if the time goes well and quick enough, we the may begin UFOs our base assault this episode. Area. Just we'll depends on how this goes. The scene before people start panicking. Don't panic. We'll be fine. If we can get some meld, that'd be nice too, of course. Can't count on much with rookies, but... Alright, no aliens close. We've got a reasonable sized map, I expect. And I'll meet you guys back once we find some aliens, so see you in a bit. All right, we uh, sent Lord Prey ahead a little bit to secure the meld, and look what we found. <laughs> I found some meld close to the UFO. I'm glad we got a little bit of meld. And then we we spawned a whole bunch of floaters. I expect all that we have to deal with on this mission is all of these floaters plus maybe two uh, outsiders. So I think uh, we're probably going to pull Lord Prey backwards at, you know, just a bit. Sometimes the floaters go on Overwatch automatically, so it's relatively safe. It's still a good idea to move the scout first. Other than that, I mean, you can see kind of what I've been doing for my layout. This is also one of our interesting snipers that has uh, squad sight plus... Did I give you snapshot? I thought I gave you snapshot. Maybe not. I thought I saw him move and still have a shot. Anyway, whatever. We'll just have you steady. Precision, oh, precision shot. That's what's been messing me up. Okay. You've got the extra crit shot. We've got a couple people in good full cover. A couple people not in great full cover. I'd like to have the people nearest the front in full cover. So that if the uh, floaters get smart and want to hit our half cover, they have to break overwatch for everybody. Right? Does that make sense? And... Viking... Pull you back just a shot little shot. bit, just so you've got room to move around the corner and get a shot. You know, we just want to make sure we get as many shots as we can on these puppies. Because we are dealing with rookies here. Rookies 50-50 so far. <laughs> Can't argue with that. How about the third shot? Two for three? Two for three. That was a good hit. Alright. You can't count on rookies all the time, but today... I mean, and to be fair, they're not all rookies. Some of them are specialists and Lance Corporals. Need to find some new cover. Well, that was pretty mild. So only two of them decided to come forward and play. Um, unfortunately, Dylan did get flanked. So we're going to have to move him. I think it's probably smarter to move the medic back. But I'm willing to, uh, Heading you know... Now move Viking over a little bit, take the shot with 88%. You've got really good aim, actually. Oh, it's because the uh, the floater landed, so everyone will have a good shot on him. In fact, I bet you the sniper, if you could see him, would have 100%, but can't always get 100%. So now we'll move Dylan over, maybe have a shot. 76, medics, not the best at shooting, but you got him. That's good. All right, back to Overwatch. 
two floaters down. At least four to go, I think. I'm pretty sure I saw six of them, at least, if not seven. They're flying around like maniacs. Alright, even Lord Prey can miss sometimes. <laughs> Come on, you're the major, you're the, 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 the ranking officer on this mission. You gotta show these rookies how it's done. Okay, that's three plus the one that's inside. I have a feeling we're not gonna make it to that other meld. Sniper needs to take a shot. Oh, I I forgot to steady weapon. I've been overwatching with everyone on Alt O. We should have had a 91% here, but I accidentally overwatched the sniper. Still managed to hit though, so that's fine. And I suppose you see, I don't really care if Lord Prey gets any kills. Because uh, he's already pretty highly ranked. So I'd rather him injure one of the aliens if possible. So that someone else can finish it off. And is anyone else even in range? Not so much. I think everyone else will just overwatch then, honestly. If they take the full cover shot at Lord Prey, I'd be pretty surprised. I would be pretty surprised. I expect them to move or just continue overwatching. You trying to flank Lord Prey? Is that your plan? Oh look! That's a lot of floaters! So there was like seven in that pod, I think. Alright, we let uh, Ayalos go for the kill here. And you got it! Good shot! This sniper knows what he's doing, or she's doing. Uh, scatter laser's not gonna work. Well, do we... See, three overwatches I don't think is a great choice. <laughs> Let's just try to injure another one. I'm, you know, it's possible we could go for the kill here, but I'd rather the rookies get the kills if possible. Although they're being um, stubborn. They're not coming towards the rookies. See how this goes. Overwatch. Landed. That makes it easier to shoot. Less defense. Less defense there. And still trying to flank, but you came in range on somebody. Yeah. <laughs> you know, privates. Alright, still no flanking. Just overwatch, okay. So you've got a shot. You don't really have a shot. Do I dare... I think now we break the cover, or break the overwatch. It's just one shot. So it should be like 90% chance to dodge. And then I'll probably put uh, Prey in uh, Hunker back here. There you go, Lord Prey. That was very close to your head. <laughs> you know, Scouts, me and Scouts have a long history of uh, risky escapades. Alright, not a great shot. Start moving people a little bit closer, maybe. Oh, you know what we could do? The sniper's already got one kill, so if you injure this one and let someone else finish it, that would be pretty, pretty exceptional in my opinion. I would like to get the rookies one kill if possible, so... Shadow Alchemists, this is your shot, 53%. I see bright future as ahead. <laughs> okay, that one's on Overwatch, but we're probably going to stay out of range. We'll move the other rookie up and maybe see one of the other guys? 36. It's not good, but uh, you can't throw a grenade, so you might as well take your 36. Yeah, that's okay. That's okay. Don't get down. You can't get every shot. We've got an engineer back here. I still want to keep a couple overwatches on standby here. Let's move the medic. The medic. I gave the medic a kill already, right? The medics had a kill, and the gunners had a kill. Both one on Overwatch and one on just a fool that came dashing out like a like a genius. Our assault does not have a kill yet. So I got one more rookie I'd like to get a kill to specifically, and maybe the assault. Other than that, it doesn't matter too much. Running into there would be a mistake because there'd be another outsider, right? A couple outsiders. Okay, they're uh, they're playing chicken now. They're scared of us. So you can move up to full cover. Can't see. Lord Prey will go up to half cover and probably hunker down. Or reload. Reloading's fine. You can overwatch. 
move the medic over a bit. Seems like they've all pulled back a significant amount by now. So we can uh, push forward a little bit. Just a little. That's the Mijiru. I don't want to trigger the... Uh, the... Uh, outsiders until we're finished with the floaters. Let's dash our uh, sniper a little bit closer. We've had some line of sight problems. Just getting a good shot off, so a little bit higher might help. On Overwatch. Oh, I should have moved that. Anyway, lots of Overwatches if the floaters come back. We've killed, I'd say, half of them, or more than half, maybe. Oh yeah, the uh, meld. That sure would be nice, wouldn't it? I mean, we could. I mean, Lord Prey has some pretty amazing mobility, but. Okay. I don't want to throw him into the danger zone. These floaters have all like. Totally run for the hills. I have no idea where they are anymore. Maybe I should throw a battle scanner or something? It's probably time for a battle scanner, to be honest. But we'll just move people a little bit closer, do some overwatches for now. Should be safe. I still say better safe than sorry. In a game like this, you might have line of sight from here, you never know. Not quite. Salt. We do have a couple flashbangs and stuff ready for emergencies. Aye, aye, which would work on floaters. Oh, the sniper, right. You can, uh... You do not have low profile. Moving. So I'll put you to full cover and reload. You can Locked still shoot around that relatively easily. Overwatch. Aye, aye. Lots of overwatches. Okay, one of them decided to poke its head out. Good. Mm, Perez, not the best shot I've ever seen. Uh, missed. Yeah, you, you definitely missed. Someone's got to finish this guy off. A lot of them are injured, I suppose. I've been spreading the damage out quite well. Let's move... Uh, we can move Dylan up to full cover. It's possible this will pop the outsider. In fact, probable may be the answer, the word you're looking for. Headed there now. I'm okay with that. That's okay. Two outsiders. It's not the worst thing. I think you go for the the forty, the, the basically fifty percent shot on this guy. Of course, of course. How about our sniper? Do you have a good shot? You can shoot just the one, so I suppose this is fair then. There you go. Sniper took him out. Okay, so we've got a fair number of enemies left. Let's see if this works. Could possibly flashbang them. Incorrect. You cannot flashbang them. I say we take a shot on this guy. He's a little bit closer to the rest of the team. And maybe we'll be able to kill him this turn if we're lucky. Um, also, seeing as the meld canister is full cover, it's a bit safer. 26%, yeah, not very good. You might be able to blow up his cover. I wouldn't get my hopes up, but maybe. This is also a non-sapper grenade. And it, it did nothing. <laughs> it's not like a 26% shot was going to do much either, though. We'll move the assault up close. A little bit scary, but uh, you got 10 HP, right? Alright, I think... You will be able to flashbang. Yeah. Flashbang one. We'll wait until we find out if we can kill that guy or not first. Move you a little bit closer. We'll probably take a couple weak shots just to see if we get lucky. 28's pretty weak, but you never know. It's worth a shot. 31 isn't much better. But it's good enough! And, I mean, I could put you here... I have a feeling the floater might try to come out and flank us if I do that. So, just stay up in half cover rather than full cover that's flankable. One and three... Oh, we could have suppressed here. Suppression would have been a good idea, actually. No way, that just happened. And, you know what, we'll just, uh... We'll make sure that this shot is weak. I don't want to have too many high percent shots coming in at my troops. 
The, uh, the aliens in Long War keep upgrading, so they get more aim, they get more damage as time goes on. Which is one of the main reasons, other than the fact that there's more difficult aliens, but it's one of the reasons why it's difficult to train people up. Well, that was a pretty good hit. Not quite a kill, but a good solid hit. That floater's not going to have a good day. Another floater over here, maybe? I don't know. Okay, that outsider is, like, running away. Probably takes a shot at Lord Prey. Ah! Of course. <laughs> ah, even through full cover, right? And this is full cover as well, but we got a miss. Close. So the scouts continue to get shot to pieces, no matter what I seem to do. Um, who did I say needed a kill? Shadow Alchemist? I know it was one of the rookies. We'll give you the 83% shot. There you go. I can't remember if that was the same rookie that got the kill or not. But that deals with that. Um, can't quite run and gun all the way up to that dude. Did I bring a medic? I did bring a medic, right? Yeah, the medic's right here, Dylan. Uh, we probably want to heal up Lord Prey. The commander needs to stay alive. Did we... No, I was thinking one of the aliens moved into here, one of the floaters, but I think it was just the one that moved to here eventually. It moved here first, and then it dashed over to here. And then it got blown to pieces, basically. Um, sniper can't see anything. Let's move the Moving sniper over out. here. Seems to be a better position at the moment. And I forgot to start my timer again, of course. Um, yeah, so our flanking opportunity here sort of got shot to pieces. Do we continue with the weak shots? Twenty-six percent. It's gonna be very difficult to finish this guy like that with all these low odds. It's gonna be very difficult. I think we pull the medic. Let's see. Trying to find a spot where we can move and heal. Probably right here. Except I already took that shot with Alchemist. <laughs> um. Well. Can't be any worse than your current cover. Move on over, get healed up at the very least. Other than just dashing him far away, I think this is still the best way to get him healed a little bit. Rub some dirt on it, you All right, so Lord Prey, you're back. You should be feeling a little bit better. Um, this is all lousy cover. All right, we just take the garbage shots. Maybe we get lucky, maybe not. 26%. That might have destroyed his cover. There you go. It's like I knew what I'm doing, sort of, by fluke. <laughs> we just blew up his cover with a shotgun. That was totally the plan, right? And we got the kill again. That's fine. All right, one outsider done via basically luck. Oh, good. There was another one back there, but it's scared. They're moving They're on the move. They're trying to All right. That's the last one we're worried about. Takes a shot. Suppresses, of course. Okay, now... Sniper can hit either one. I think the sniper goes to break the overwatch first here. And he definitely breaks the overwatch. And then I think we use the assault to run and gun. I don't... There could still be some aliens left, but I think we're at the last two. We'll find out right now. Looks safe, okay. I feel like this is gonna work out. I'm pretty happy about that too, that was a lot of damage. And finally we need someone to kill this last floater. I mean, Shadow Alchemist, you might have a sh Oh, you had a shot from right there, that's silly. Silly me. 54%, see how you do. There you go. Shadow Alchemist definitely has at least two kills. Uh, that was pretty easy. So we just killed a whole bunch of floaters and a couple outsiders. As usual, the scout got shot, but other than that, it went pretty well. <laughs> Missions like Lots of promotions, sure that's nice too. Confidence. Well done, Commander. So... Michael Villar, unfortunately, did not get any kills. Shadow Alchemist stole all the rookie kills. <laughs> they both got tactical, which is kind of fun. 
Anyway, uh, Gaming Ninja, congratulations, you're all the way up to Corporal, which means you get to be more aggressive. And Viking, you've managed to make it to Lance Corporal. I don't know what a great ability for the gunner is at this point. I think I'll take Hollow Targeting. Specifically, once you get to Double Tap, this will actually improve your odds on your second shot, assuming you shoot the same guy. Or, with Double Tap, you can apply Hollow Targeting to two enemies, which I think is a pretty good way of thinking about it. We got two tactical. Let's look at my list of uh, soldiers here from last episode. Tactical means infantry or assault. We are... We got eight infantry and seven assault. So we don't really need either too badly. Um, let's see. Let's look at your stats for a second. Fifteen mobility I think would make an amazing assault actually. You don't need a whole lot of accuracy. You just need to be fast. And then... That makes for good assault, good scouts, good engineers, stuff like that. That gives us one more assault, and to be fair, I can't turn down another infantry, even with just average aim. You don't need a lot of mobility to be an infantry, so that's decent a decent deal, I think. So, Shadow Alchemist, welcome to the infantry team. And I think that's it, right? A little bit of Illyrium, could start another uh, pulse weapon probably, if I have the money for it. Oh, I did think there's something I should be selling. Um, I, I made too many arc throwers. I, uh, I built a lot early on thinking I was going to need more. But I only bring one or at most two per mission. So let's take the money for that. We'll sell some of the damage stuff. I did overbuild a couple things, I feel like. As, uh, as time has gone on. What else would I sell? We're going to hold on to the laser weapons even when we get pulse weapons because they're better for rookies. Um, on that mission we just did, that plus that we didn't fall 7 line, aim or plus 10 aim or whatever it is, I think plus 7, is much more valuable than plus 2 damage when you can barely make a hit. In my opinion, anyway. Um, anything else worth selling, like item-wise? The grenade launcher is not very good, but I'm not selling it because, you know, there's the couple couple mech classes that use that. Uh, I think that's probably all I can legitimately sell. Yeah. I can sell one carapace armor because I've got one Aegis armor. Yeah, that's fine. We'll sell one of those. I'm just trying to make up a little bit more money. I will sell all the carapace eventually as we replace it, but for now, I've only built one advanced armor at all. And I realize I only needed a couple chem grenades. <laughs> I've been told that these kind of We're things are non-consumable. You can you only get one or two per mission, depending on your class. But you actually uh, can use them over and over again every mission. So once you build one chem grenade, you can use it forever. It's kind of silly. <laughs> Just a little silly. Uh, lots of corpses. All right, that, that's good enough. A bit of money. Let's have a look at our engineering. We've started a pulse. We've started a scatter. The other one I might start early is the big heavy uh, gunner weapon. I didn't show the difference off yet for that one, so our choices are... Where are they? Where's the big? We've got a Pulse Auto Blaster. This is the move and shoot version, I believe. This is like similar to the auto laser we're currently using, with just minus one mobility. And pretty good ammo. Not as good as uh, some of the other ones, but okay. This is 6 to 10 damage, 5 ammo, and 10% crit. Crit is not as good for gunners. The current version is the auto laser, which is right here. So it's plus 2 damage and plus 10 crit and minus 1 ammo. It's still a pretty solid upgrade. Also minus 7 accuracy, of course. Um, don't forget that. Um, but, instead of 6 to 10, we could look for the other one, which is not the Gat the Gatling Pulser. Costs a little bit more, minus 2 mobility, can't move and shoot, but it would be plus 3 damage and plus 15 crit. And, better ammo. So this means it's much easier to just plunk your gunner down, and then suppress, shoot, suppress, shoot, double tap, bam, 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 just shoot and shoot and shoot. You get plus five aim, five, five tiles beyond visual, which is better than nothing. In fact, there's many situations I've found where this is actually really, really valuable. So I'm going to start switching our gunners from move and shoot to kind of like a sniper hold still and shoot. 
And it'll also work well with the alloy bipod, which gives you accuracy and crit if you don't move before you shoot, which works with these weapons perfectly. So uh, that's my plan. There you go. All of our Illyrium is gone. But we'll be getting more soon. In fact, we should get more right now. Um, is there any reason we would hold off? We don't need to do it at this exact second. Um, but I think I've got enough advanced soldiers ready for a good 10-man team. I have a couple mechs ready to go. Uh, is there any projects just about to finish that would make a huge difference? We just finished um, ammo conservation. In fact, we probably had it for that mission. I forgot to mention that. Um, super capacitors won't help. The land battle. The pulse weapons would help, but I don't really want to wait nine days. I'd rather do this mission... One more base mission, and then I can start making a couple of pulse rifles and a pulse carbine. Once I've got six or so, we'll have enough to outfit our whole team, and we're not going to worry about the mech weapons, so we'll be all kitted out in pulse gear. Maybe from one more base, if we're lucky, and then we'll have better air to air. Yeah, I think it's time to do it, honestly. So let me put a pause in the video, see how long this has been, and uh, we'll maybe start another base assault. Ooh. Alright, well sorry to disappoint you guys, but seeing as it's almost been 30 minutes already, I decided I'm going to cut this video just a little shorter than I like to, and then uh, we'll start the base assault mission next episode. I may have to split the base assault mission in half anyway, and I'd like to at least uh, start off this time with a base assault, just because it's such a long mission. So uh, sorry about that if you're excited about the base mission, but next episode for sure we'll go to South Africa. <laughs> Thanks for watching folks, I hope you have enjoyed. That was a pretty short episode, pretty easy mission, and uh, hopefully next one, if you're looking for pain and suffering, you'll find it in the next video, or not if I'm lucky. <laughs> See you guys. Oh wait, before you go, I remembered one more thing I was going to show you. <laughs> Sorry, I keep tugging you guys back and forth. I forgot to do officer promotions before we begin our next mission. We still don't have any colonels ready to go, but... Sandless and Lythen, look at this! I haven't been paying attention. It's time for some uh, promotions. So I think everyone except Lord Prey will go for the... Everybody gets experience per kill rather than experience... This is like rookie trainer. This is like advanced trainer. And I think for the rest of the team we'll use that. So congratulations Sandless, you're now a major. You're no longer outranked. And then Lythen as well will go for the same thing. So there we go. Two more promotions, maybe some captains. Faldang, unfortunately, not ready. Uh, Pyro is ready, so there you go. We'll get damage reduction or defense. I don't know. I can't even tell if this is working or not. Maybe we'll give one person plus five defense to the whole team. It doesn't matter where you are as long as you're in cover, so sure. Five percent is not a big an impact, but it's something. And is that everybody? Enderman not prepared yet. Anybody injured? Dag not ready. So we still got one lieutenant, two lieutenants, three lieutenants. No captains at the moment. Yes, one captain. We just promoted a captain. All right, that's fine. Still no need to unlock the next tier of uh, officer training. But uh, once we start getting some colonels, I'll consider it eventually. So yeah, that's it. Now, goodbye for real. See you guys next time.